happy crafters sorry it's been so long again I know I know I say this every video but I finished uni got my results had my degree show um I had some holiday and then it's just been a mad panic trying to get a job but anyway moving on today's video is about my travel journal kit art kit drawing sketching kit Thing. So I'm going on holiday in I think two weeks now um, and I'm already packed my art stuff but <laughs> that's beside the point. I wanted to show you what I was going to take with you, take with me, sorry. Um, I'm only going camping in Wales so we're going in the car so I can take as much as I like really, well not excessively but this is what I'm taking. So on top of the two sort of journals I'm taking, I'm taking my Fedori which I've made which is what I use as my, I've been using as my sort of main sketchbook and journal-y thing. I'm also taking this, which is my holiday book. So in this, I've already pre-planned everything we're doing. Printed off maps and train times and uh, got leaflets and things about the different things we're going to do whilst we're there. And then I've got my packing list. And then I've got loads of space left in it, so I think I'm actually going to use this to journal the trip. So then have the complete book as a record of that trip. But mainly I've got this case. Um, this is an old tool case of my dad's. It's a like aluminium hard case um, that he gave me. And it's got two buckles like this. As you can see, it's <laughs> very full. It pops open. And when you open it... It looks like this. Can you see the top? There we go. So, it's got this top section with a space behind it and then the main compartment down here. So, I'll go through the top first. So, in these little pockets, I have two just normal biros. I then have my set of um, Paper Mate Ink Joys. I uh, got these just a few days ago and I've been really liking them, so I thought I'd take the set with me. I have a big pair of scissors, a water brush, um, five paint brushes, including a big one. These are just um, Royal paint brushes, the clear with the grippy ones that you can get from the works. And then my lovely favourite scissors, which are my Tim Holtz um, by Tonic scissors. And they go in there. So then this section undoes and behind here I have a few things so I have a Crawford and Black watercolour pad and um, it's just watercolour paper with a few bits and bobs in it but it's perforated so if I wanted to do a painting and take it out whilst I'm away I can do that I then have a alphabet stamp set this is the stamp set that came in a magazine a couple of months ago I think card making paper craft magazine um, and it's a really nice it's like uh, to look like it's sketched sort of thing sorry about the glare there I do I then have these summer stickers that I've had for years and years and years so I've chucked them in there because I really want to use them on this holiday to get rid of them I then have my current A4 sketchbook which is actually just from Poundland this is um, but I really like it the paper's 130 gram and it's actually really nice paper, so it's just a couple of pages I've used and then most of it's empty because I only started it this month. So they live behind there, nice and out of the way. Then in the main section, um, I've got most of my stuff. So on the top I've got my A5 um, sketch pad. This is actually a, another one of the Crawford and Black, which is from the Works brand sketch pad which I just took the cover off and redecorated because I didn't like the cover and then it's only got one sketch in because I literally got it the other day and then it's all empty I then have a pack of baby wipes you know because every crafter needs baby wipes I have a new whoops my brand new uh, letter set which I'm yet to use which I got from the works the other day and you can see it was only a pound um, I always use these wooden hobbycraft stamps which are a really similar font to this 
but because they're wood mounted they're really big so I couldn't fit them in so I saw these and I thought ah they're great because they're really thin um, and I've got a block and stuff in here so I can use these on my holiday and then have a few stencils um, oh, this one's cracked but it still works I really like stencils for journaling because they're really easy ways to get nice neat lettering because I don't have the best handwriting so I've got a really big one a sort of medium sized one and then this smaller one and then over here I have my um, journaling pouch now I made a video on this before I've redone it um, all about what was in it when I used it for my file effects but I'm not really into using file effects anymore I've actually um, just ordered a new Fodori and I'm thinking of using that instead so this has a ton of stuff for journaling my trips so I've got tags and some frames some washi masking stickers some various stickers some alphabet stickers some arrow stickers um, in this back section I have lots of sort of you know pretty jokey kids stickers just for decorating and things and I've chosen ones which I thought would go best for camping so like wildlife like you can see I've got some butterfly ones there and things like that um, my favourite letter stickers some post-it notes some little smash journaling cards some more stickers in here I have some journaling cards and little paper pocket things and then in the back I have some labels and some more sticky notes so that's what's in there then I have a collapsible water bucket this is the Faber Castell one um, it just opens up like that and closes and I really like this, I've actually used it quite a lot um, because you can rest your pens in the top so um, you know you're not sitting them in the water so it's wet because I've just been using it actually <laughs> for watercolours I have my brand new Neo Colour 2's which I've only used a few times um, see they're barely used I just got these on a really good deal off Amazon actually um, and I love them so I got the 15 pack of them I'm also taking my Mahusive Windsor & Newton Studio palette, I think this is the 72 palette or the 54, I can't remember. Anyway, my Whopper of a palette, just because I will be there for a week and I'm planning on doing some like landscape things um, and I want the good range of colour, probably just whilst I'm sat at the campsite, I shan't carry this around with me or anything. And I live in there. I then have three washi tape that I got the other day that I want to take with me these are just little thin ones from um, you can see there's not a lot on them from the works so just taking them and a pencil sharpener this is my new map lid um, the anti drop one so the thing automatically closes so all the bits doesn't fall out of it I then got these uh, watercolour paper luggage tags which I found the other day whilst tidying my crafty space and I thought I really must use them so um, I'm going to take them with me and if I don't use them it's fine, they don't take up much space um, but I want to use them up I've then got my pencil pot with all my drawing pencils in um, I like to draw in colour so these are my pencils, they're mainly the WH Smith brand uh, sketch pencils which I saw actually on sale the other day I do have a few random white ones uh, like a Faber Castell pastel um, China graph pencil a random white pencil <laughs> this is my hunt for the more perfect white pencil a Faber Castell polychromos white um, and I think there's a China graph black in there as well but that's what's in there what's in there what's over there So in this next section I have a date stamp, obviously I'll be journaling whilst I'm away so I want a date stamp. I then have um, my four gelatos that I own, I don't. I only own the sort of little blue four set and then my um, Dejeco, uh water soluble pastels that I showed in a haul actually and I really like these um, a lot so I'm taking them with me. And they fit nicely just there. 
I then have an eraser, this is another Mappo Ed one, um, that lives there. I did have an acrylic block, but I don't know where that's gone. That lives in that little section too, but I think it might be on my desk because I was just using it. Um, I have a Pritt brand glue stick, these are my favourite glue sticks. And if it isn't Pritt stick, it's S-H-I-T stick, that's what I like to say. So that lives in there. I then have my favourite little uh, Dovecraft... Um, what are these called? Stamps, that's what they're called. Little wood block, tiny little stamps. These are perfect for journaling, for like titling photographs and things, they're really perfect. I then have a selection of washi tape here and one roll of fabric tape. And I chose um, sort of summery colours that I wanted to theme throughout and I've got various different patterns and thicknesses in here that I wanted to use in my journal. So they're in there. Final section is at the top I have two ink pads. I have two archival ink pads which are my favourite inks. One in plum and one in jet black. These are my two favourite colours. I wanted to bring a colour as well and plum is nice and it fits with a lot of things. No, it's not particularly summery but it's a change from jet black um, and of course I had to have this because you've got to have a black ink pad. I then have for if I'm going to go off and um, take some things with me say when we go on a day out on our trip if I want to do some journaling. I have this little, this is actually a De La Rally uh, the Alison Crawshaw collection box and I got the box of this from a charity shop but it had no paints in it so I just put inside my own Winsor & Newton paints so I've got sort of a, a red, a green, yellow, black, brown, blue and then here I've got some white, some dark brown and a sort of purpley plum colour um, and then there's a little room at the top for a palette so I can take this and then the pencil case I'm about to show you and then like my journal for a day and there's enough colours there to suffice to mix and things um, and that's a really good little kit and obviously you can see how small it is, it literally fits in my pocket <laughs> so that's really nice and then this is my pencil case and it doesn't really close, it's like one of those wrap ones and I have to proper squeeze it to close but it mostly just lives open. Oops, see, everything's falling out of it. Ah, let's stick those back in. So these are my, what I use most when I want to draw. Um, little roll thing. And I find it, if I've got a pencil case, see I've got a billion pencil cases, but if I've got a pencil case as in like, what you put, you know, you know, like a normal pencil case. I end up taking far too much stuff, I never use half of it and it ends up just taking up room so this, I've got the bare minimum of what I need and it's what I need so first off I've got my um, water brush, this is my favourite one I do have those other ones but I like this one because it's got um, one of these spongy filter things so the water doesn't actually come out as quick you know if you squeeze it, only a bit of what comes out it doesn't like splurt all over your page or anything I have a Mapo Ed um, retractable eraser pen and I also in here which I don't really need but if I went for like the day out then it would be handy in this slot if I can get it out I have a pencil sharp there wait there we go just a normal bog standard metal little school pencil sharpener so that lives in there I then have my Copic Kayo double ended brush pen um, this was actually my boyfriend's and it's almost run out so he's just let me use the last little bit to see if I actually want to buy one or even buy you know a few Copics I have oops, it goes in there. a few pencils um, my favourite woodless pencil in HB and then a normal pencil in 2B because 2B is my favourite oh no that's HB I thought it was another 2B but 2B is my favourite pencil which is weird to have but it is I then have the uh, Unipin fine line pen set so I have the 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 in here and that's a good it comes in a little kit I think um, but I do have a few others it's a good range of sizes for everything that you need especially along with like the uh, Copic you know I've got a good range of sizes I then have my 2B uh, pressed woodless pencil 
I then have my Uniball Signo, a white gel pen which is the Hyper, what's this called, Hyperid Gel Grip DX which is fine, it's a white gel pen. I have the Faber-Castell Multimark Permanent in Medium, this is just like a permanent marker. I have a normal black felt tip pen for if I want to do some water brush techniques uh, by Stedler and then a white paper mate uh, correction fluid which I use for highlights and things you know it's just a correction fluid pen and that is what's in there so I've got the staple the whole not whole punch what's that called it's sharpener back in and that rolls up and that goes in there so that is everything that I've got and I'm going to take on holiday with me um, it's probably more than I need but I'm not um, like having to watch how much I take or what weight I take because we're going in the car so I can take as much as I'd like and I want to take this stuff so that's it this case my dad gave me and he's had for years but I've seen on eBay I just searched aluminium tool case and on Amazon as well you can get something very similar to this oh, but I do have to like push it to get it closed um, so it's all contained like that and it's nice and strong and none of my papers are going to bend or anything so my happy crafters I hope to get you some more videos soon I'm working on a few different things uh, thank you for all our new subscribers as well I know whilst I've been a bit MIA I've had quite a few new subscribers which I really appreciate and I hope you have a lovely day and get some happy crafting bye <laughs>